Minnie's House of Pain COVID workout number 30. We're getting close, y'all. Setting the tone with our med ball warm up, you're going to start with eight bear hug squats, followed by eight overhead presses. Pull that under your chin, press it all the way above your head. When you're done, big giant bear hug, eight of your best hip hinges or RDLs. Unlock your knees, push your hips way, way back. From there, eight bent over rows. Touch your midsection, let those arms hang, arms fully extended. When you're done with your eight bent over rows, feet flat on the ground, put your med ball or your implement in between your knees. Make sure you're squeezing, get that hip abduction and bridge those hips as high as they'll go. You've got eight repetitions. When you're done with your eight hip bridges, you've got four med ball push-ups on each side. Four on the right, four on the left. Get that good depth, arms fully extended. When you're done, eight of your best squat jumps. If you can't do a squat jump, another eight squats is fine. Going right into your rolling pattern. Coach Roberto is demonstrating your upper body rolling pattern. Remember, say it with me now, disassociate your shoulders from your hips. That upper body, the shoulders are moving first and the hips are following through and moving second. This should be a fluid motion. It should be smooth. Now, if you find that your hips and shoulders move at the same time, that just means your thoracic spine is a little tight. Not a big deal. Just do some extra repetitions. Easy. Coach is showing us the lower body rolling pattern instead of your shoulders moving with your hips. Your hips are gonna move first and your shoulders are gonna follow through and move second. Coach is taking us through the quad, ped, T-spine rotation, quad meaning four, right knee, left knee, left forearm, and right elbow. Those are your four points of contact. You're going to take a deep breath in and open to your right. You're going to do that eight times. Exhale as you bring your arm down. In this case, coach is pinning his right elbow or forearm between his knees, and he's going to open to his left. Inhale as he opens. Exhale as he brings his elbow towards his forearm. Opening up that thoracic spine, a lot of the drills that we do help us open up our thoracic spine. Coach Craig is taking us through the child's pose, opening up that lumbar spine and just trying to relax. Deep breath in, sit your bottom towards your heels. Coach Craig is taking us through the front to back leg swings, one of my favorite drills here. Standing tall with your best, best posture. You're bringing your foot to your hand, not your hand to your foot. Try to get your toes to shoulder height. Inhale and exhale as you bring your toes up. And always try to exhale on exertion when you can. There's a little rhythm to this. Let your hip do what it does. Good hip extension on the back side, good hip flexion on the front side. Moving right into the lateral leg swing, try to keep those shoulders as square as you can. Again, this opens up the, the, the hip flexors as well as the lumbar spine, a little bit of thoracic spine here. Sweep that leg across your body. Try to keep your toes pointed forward. Don't let your toes point externally. Try to keep your toes pointed forward. That helps open up your groin and your hip flexors.
Heading into the strength workout, we're going with the one arm shoulder press. You've got four sets of eight repetitions on each side. Coach is showing you an overhand grip version. On the next clip here, he'll show you a neutral grip version. Either one works. Do whatever works for you. Make sure we're inhaling on the way down, exhaling as we're pressing. Brace your abdominals as you push. This is the neutral grip that I was referring to. When you're done with your shoulder press, go right into your shoulder touches, push up position, feet hip to shoulder width apart, bracing your abs, carefully touch your right hand to your left shoulder and your left hand to your right shoulder. 10 repetitions on each side. When you're done with your shoulder touches, quickly rise to your feet, overhand grip on your band or your dumbbell or your kettlebell, and give us 10 of your best upright rows. Pull that thing all the way to your chin. Going right into your horizontal row. This is a fun one, and it's a little bit easier than a vertical row because it's easier to hook your band on your doorknob. Get it in position. Get in a semi-squat stance, deep breath in, pull that band to your chest, you're doing 12 repetitions. Inhale on the stretch, exhale as you pull it in. When you're done with your rows, get in your side plank position and go right into your side plank leg lift. Now, if you can't do a leg lift, just go right into a regular side plank, but Susan is strong and she's fancy, so she's showing off here. Hold it just go up and down with that leg for 10 repetitions on each side when you're done with your side plank leg lift go right into your lunges we're going to show you two versions here you can do the stepping lunge the stepping forward lunge as coach Kyle is demonstrating you can also do a walking lunge like coach Caitlin is going to demonstrate here in about three two one bang walking lunges try to keep that front foot flat and that front shin as vertical as you can. Lightly let that back knee touch the ground. Some, some coaches will tell you an inch above the ground, but I'm not gonna get my protractor out or my ruler and measure an inch from the ground. So just lightly let your knee touch the ground. Don't let it bang. You know what to do. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you rise out of your lunge. Hip bridges, three sets, 15 reps. Lower your bottom until it touches the ground and bridge those hips as high as they'll go. If you wanna do a single leg hip bridge on the ground, that's okay too. You can also do a single leg hip bridge with your foot elevated. This is a, this is a more difficult, a higher intensity drill here. Activates a little more hamstring than the prior drill. But either one, they're both great. Pick one, do it, three sets of 15. When you're done with your hip bridges, go right into your mountain climbers, push up position, bring that knee to your elbow, just like Coach Kyle was showing you here. Get some water, give me some high knees, not the butt kickers like Coach Roberto forgot he was doing. High knees, 30 seconds, give us your best effort here, it'll be over before you know it. Lateral plank walks, this is actually the modified version. You're on your hands and knees in your best, best, best bear crawl position. Three to four steps to your left, and then go three to four steps to your right. If you don't have to modify your drill, 
get into your push-up position brace your abs and walk laterally careful steps you're going for time you're not going for reps just try to go three to four steps that's easier to get equal repetitions on each side When you're done with your lateral plank walks on your feet, make sure you have some space for this. We're trying to give you a little bit of variety for your conditioning here, um, but just back pedal three to four steps and sprint forward for three to four steps. Great job with the workout. Thank you for hanging with us during this tough time. Keep it going. This is hump day.